All right, so welcome to your first Movement Monday here with strength. So again, my name is Samantha from Strength Counseling. We gonna pump you up. Oh yeah, let's do it. Are you in? Let's begin with our warm up. So we're gonna be doing cars. It's just as controlled articular rotations. Let's just begin at the head as we turn our head all the way around in a big circle or a small one. Just begin to fill out the joints and then just switch directions. We're doing about five repetitions or so each direction, just getting some fluid into our joints, getting us ready for our movements today. Go ahead now, open up the arms, big inhale. Take the arms behind the head or the hands behind the head and then reach the chest up toward the ceiling. Inhale, arms up and then bring them behind the back. So we're rotating at the shoulder joints here as we lift up. And then exhale, we bring it down, turning at the shoulders, facing our palms forward as we lift up, behind the head, and then bringing the palms back behind you. Let's do that again here. Feeling up those shoulder joints. All right, let's move on. We're just going to sway from side to side now. So we're going into a nice little twist here. We're going to be warming up a little bit in the torso. Go ahead and bring your legs with you as in, you know, get to the balls of the toes here, lifting up so that we protect the knees as we're twisting. It's getting a little bit of a full body rotation. Don't forget to breathe. All right, come back into center, begin to swivel out those hips. And then go the other direction. This is a very busy intersection here. We got to get them really warmed up. So now here we're just going to take our hands to our knees and begin to circle inward. So noticing the rotation at the feet. Then we're just going to go ahead and open up the knees in the opposite direction. Again, notice the feet, the different pressures on them, going from the inner feet to the outer feet. And then just go ahead, standing on one leg. We're just going to twist at the ankle here, practicing our balance already, going the opposite direction, placing that down. And then again, we're just going to do some hip swivels here. So knee up, knee back, engage the glutes as you're doing this. And let's just take it to the other side. Nice and easy, circling at that ankle. Opposite way. And then go ahead, touch down, bring the knee back and then forward. Working into those hips just a little bit more. All right, my friends, go ahead, shake it out. And we are going into our workout here right away. We're going to start with a good morning. This is a great mobilization drill. So hands behind the head here. Just going to tuck the tailbone under, plant those feet to the ground, slight bend of the knees. And now I want you just to hinge at those hips. Now this is where we're bringing that tempo training in. So we're going three, two, one, squeeze the glutes and lift it up. Let's do it again for three, two, one, squeeze the glutes, lift it up, press into those feet. Here we go. Three, two, one, and lift. Keep lengthening your spine as you're going down and up. So remember here, it's a slow down and then a quick pop up. Quick, but not too quick. Remember your body. Warm up into it if you need. Never have to go as fast as I'm going, or maybe you're going, well, don't take it any faster for sure. Remember, we're trying to slow things down just a little bit here. Beautiful hold here now, 10 seconds, just at the bottom of the rep. Keep lengthening that spine, pulling the belly into center, and bring it up. All right, let that go. Sweet. All right, we're gonna be coming into squats now. So we go down for three, two, one. Now pause and then bring it up. So three, two, one, pause. 
bring it up. Three, two, one, pause, bring it up. Keep going here, just like that. If you'd like to make it harder, just go ahead, bring some your hands behind your head. That will keep you a little bit more lifted in the torso. It will be a little bit more challenging of the mobilization of your back. So if that doesn't feel right to you, please just bring your hands to your heart center and continue on. So remember that slight pause at the bottom. All right. We're holding here on this next one. So hold at the bottom. Hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh yeah, that felt good. You may not think so, but it is. It's fantastic. All right, so we're going to go into a wide push up here. So from the knees as an option. So this is option one from the knees. Going down slow and we pause for a second before coming back up. Option two is to go from the feet all the way down and then drop to the knees to push yourself back up. Option three is, of course, the whole thing from the toes. So three, two, one, and then a lift up. All right, so those are your three options. Go ahead, pick one, stick to it the whole time, and here we go. So choose your option, and here we go for three, two, one, bring it up. Three, two, one, and lift. Yes, three, two, one one and lift keep it going here with your count but remember three by one tempo you're halfway be prepared we are going to be holding this at the bottom as well for 10 seconds so if you're on your feet and you have to drop to your knees for this one that's okay all right my friends here we go this is it Hold the bottom. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, drop to the knees, push yourself down. Oh my goodness. If you got up on your feet for that one, congratulations. Whew, that is a tough one. All right, shake it out. We're coming to standing. Now we're going into a lunge. So again, we're going to take this down. 3, 2, 1. But now we're holding it. 3, 2, 1 and then bring it up. So let's do it again. Pause at the bottom, bring it up. Down slow, pause, bring it up. All right, now this is your go here. Just remember a little bit slower down and then that pause at the bottom for three counts. Really beautiful, surefire way of burning up those legs and giving you a little bit more strength happening without the need for added weight. All right, this is the one where we're going to hold the bottom a little bit longer. Here we go. 10, 9, 8. Oh, no, that wasn't it. We're going to do it again. Here it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Keep holding. You're almost there. Ready? Lift it up. Awesome. Give that a nice little shake out. Oh, yeah. We got to go to the other side. Hope that music is playing for you in the background. You're going to need it for that extra motivation. And here we go. Other side. Setting up is crucial. Three two, one, pause, three, two, one, and lift. All right, you know that tempo now. If you get a little bit lost, feel free to look at the video or just go ahead and do your own thing. I always like to say, keep your eyes on the horizon so your head is lifted and your spine is nice and long and straight. Remember that pause at the bottom. You got it. Keep going. All 
All right, this is the one. Just about. All right, here's your hold, your longer hold. Let's do it. Pause. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! Shake it out. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, let's bring it down. We're going to head into Superman. So let's bring it down to your belly. All right, untuck your toes. Nice strong legs here, strong glutes. You have an option of bringing your hands back or to a T shape or to a little bit of a Y shape. And the hardest version will be an I shape. So bringing the hands right above your head. Okay, I'm going with the hardest one just because I'm used to doing this, but I'm going to ask you to tuck the tailbone under, pull the belly up towards the spine before you lift, coming back to this position every single time. Okay, so we're just going to ask you to feel that out, pulling the belly button upwards and inwards, tucking the tailbone towards the heels. Just pause here, hold. If you can, if you'd like, you can bring the arms up for a little added intensity while keeping that belly in, tailbone pointing down to the heels. All right, let that go. All right, so now we're gonna lift, we're gonna hold for three, two, one, and then lower, come back to that position that we just held, right? So anytime that we come down, come back to that lengthening of the tailbone, just again to acquire lengthening of the spine so we're not compressing or adding any more discomfort into the lower back. We're coming out of that back, we're reaching our legs long. Remember that little tempo here. We go up, we pause for three, and we're coming down. Awesome work, keep it up. Strengthening out that back body, keeping the crown of the head nice and long and the ears in line with your biceps. Especially if you have your arms beside your head. If they're out to a T, don't worry about it. We're holding here a little bit longer now. Next time you come up. And bring it down, all right. All right, so you guys, so this is gonna be your final exercise. So we're just doing one set here of everything. All right, so we're gonna come down into a slow sit up. So we're going down for 10 seconds. We're gonna roll, tuck the tailbone under, and then begin to roll from the spine, bringing the belly button in. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, to the last thing to come down is your head and come on up any way that you need to, even if that means you have to hang onto the legs. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come on up, baby. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, yeah. We got two more only. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is your final one. No big deal. We have come to a rest after this. Let's do it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and relax you made it pull your knees in towards your chest give yourself a great big hug little roll out and then we're just going to lie on our side for a nice quick stretch so bringing your top leg as a kickstand so you can then grab your back foot maybe you need a strap here or something to hang on to that and then squeeze your glute to press your bottom hip forward and then go ahead if you feel good, bringing that top leg down and then keep holding on to that back leg and go into a twist. This is called a bretzel. Just make sure that the tailbone stays nice and long down towards your long edge of the mat or short edge of the mat, I should say. And just breathe here. All right. You can let that go. Let's go to the other side. It's nice and easy. 
top leg as acts as a kickstand as you bring your other leg back, pressing those hips forward by just gently squeezing the glute or your bum if you don't know what a glute is. <laughs> just breathe. And then if you like that option for the pretzel, go ahead and take it now. Breathe deeply into the belly. Congratulate yourself for a job well done today. And then with your next breath or two, just come on up into a seated position. Just gonna bring our hands behind us, interlace your fingers and just open up your shoulders. If you can't quite interlace your fingers, totally cool. Just interlock maybe opposite elbows behind you. Then bring it forward and you are done, my friend. Congratulations, you killed it, you nailed it. No big deal. I'll see you next.